how to turn off or on predictive text suggestion strip on your Android device's Gboard. As you can see guys, I currently have a messaging app open called Signal and I've got a conversation open between note to self and I. Before I show you how to turn off predictive text, also known as the suggestion strip, I'm going to quickly demonstrate how it looks like when you are typing. I'm now simply going to tap on the Signal message box at the very bottom here to start typing a message. I'm now going to type the word subscribe. However, I'm not going to complete the word subscribe. I'm going to type the first five letters S-U-B-S-C. And as you can see guys, after typing the first five letters for the word subscribe, you can see a small strip called the suggestion strip, which tries to predict the word that you're trying to type before you complete the word. So as you can see on the left hand side of the suggestion strip, you can see what we currently have typed out. In the middle of the suggestion strip, you can see the word subscription, which is one of the words the Gboard app is trying to suggest for us. And furthest to the right here is another suggested word, which is the word subscribe. And that is the word that we are actually trying to type. The suggestion strip has accurately predicted out of two suggestions, the correct word that we were attempting to type. You can either now simply finish your word by typing out the rest of the letters, or you can simply tap on the correct word that the suggestion strip has predicted for you. So all I'm going to do now, guys, is tap on the word subscribe. All right, guys, so that's how the suggestion strip works. I'm now going to show you how we can turn off this feature. The first thing I'm going to do is go back to my home screen of my Android device. Next, locate the settings app. As you can see, guys, for me, the settings app is at the bottom right hand corner of our Android device. I'm going to tap on the settings app now to open it. Once you've got your settings app open, look for system. I'm just going to scroll all the way down here. And as you can see, guys, system is the third option from the very bottom here. Tap on system once you've found it. Next, look for languages and input and tap on it. Once done, under keyboards, tap on on-screen keyboard. In on-screen keyboard, you'll be able to see all the on-screen keyboards you have installed on your Android device. The on-screen keyboard that I need for today's video guide is Gboard, so I'm going to tap on Gboard here at the very top. Once you're in your Gboard settings, look for text correction and tap on it. Once in text correction, look for suggestions, which is at the very top here. And at the very top of suggestions, you should see show suggestion strip display suggestion strip while typing. And as you can see guys, the suggestion strip is currently toggled on. To turn off or disable show suggestion strip, simply tap on the toggle and you'll have successfully turned off the suggestion strip. If you would like to turn back on the suggestion strip, all you need to do is tap on the toggle once again. As you can see guys, under suggestions, we have other text correction suggestions that we can turn off or on. We have next word suggestions, block offensive words, show emoji suggestions, show sticker suggestions, and suggest contacts. You can turn on or off any of these text correction suggestions. All right guys, once you have disabled or enabled the show suggestion strip feature, you can simply exit out of your Gboard settings. I'm now going to open back up my messaging app, which will signal to go back to the conversation between note to self and I, and I'm going to re-attempt to type the word subscribe, but only the first five letters, S-U-B-S-C, and as you can see guys, we have no suggestion strip above our on-screen keyboard letters or underneath the signal text message box. And that pretty much concludes the video guys on how to turn off or on predictive text suggestion strip on your Android devices Gboard. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a like, comment down below, and most importantly of all, subscribe to support the channel. I'll see you on the next video. Why is it so